Community Reach is a volunteer driven transportation program. This program has been in existence for over 12 years, serving residents of North Simcoe who do not have access to transportation, such as seniors and those with a limited income. Well, I'm out of, from out of town and there is no bus service, so it's either taxi, which is very expensive, and it, um, well, I use a companion who helps me with grocery shopping and the drivers, they, they will get you right to the, your, your door to, at the destination. Some of the ones that I do um, are seniors and are um, living on their own and so they be, they're very joyous to come to get a ride. Um, they go to day programs, they love it. They absolutely love it. You can see the joy in their eyes when they're going out, and yeah, it's wonderful. Um, we provide rides within the North Simcoe area for activities of daily living, day out programs, children's programs, volunteering, social and recreational activities, as well as appointments to doctors, legal appointments, and counseling. I had a cardiac arrest of a uh, choir brain injury and I can't drive anymore, I don't have a license or anything. So they take me to my doctor's, which is in Rexdale, Ontario, probably a couple hour drive. And now I've been starting to go to um, with Muskoka Brain Injury Services are helping me. I think it's really helping me. It gets me out and you know, trying to build some confidence to get out in the real world, so to speak. But everyone's been so kind and considerate and patient with me and so helpful. They're all angels in my eyes. Four years ago, my daughter was born premature and we had no way of getting to Aurelia. And you guys kind of stepped up for us and helped us get to see my daughter while she was in the hospital. Um, my daughter's seen specialists because of you guys because we were able to get there. So it's, it's helped us quite a bit with everything. Not everybody can afford a vehicle like myself or my friends and we do need support in that. At first, they're very apprehensive. Um, and they're uh, nervous and as soon as you put their mind at ease you're taking care of them and, and uh, that they will be taken from their home safely and brought back to their home safely. You see a big smile on their face and, and it's so gratifying to see that and they say you know thank you very much. They're very very thankful and, and, uh, and uh, very appreciative of these gestures that are Done for them. Well, because I <clears throat> am legally blind and I can't drive, and I was also independent, so now I use it for shopping and um, places I have to go, and also some long distance ones to the doctors, eye doctors, and places. So it's absolutely wonderful, you know. I can, <coughs> I can always go with them. They always have a place for me. I don't have as many uh, regulars I do doing the longer runs, so I don't, don't, I don't see that many repeats, but uh, always people are glad to see me and I always mm -hmm. uh, thank, thank me for the ride and they're good company on the drive. So. I, I think also too they, they know they can rely on community reach. Um, that they won't be left in the lurch and they know that the staff will do everything in their power to get them to their destination, picked up and back home on time. Yeah. Most yeah. importantly, they know we'll come and get them wherever we left them. <laughs> yes, them we'll back. take them home. We won't abandon them. <laughs> we have a wonderful group of volunteers that work well together and they support each other. Um, if you're wanting to be a volunteer driver, you need to contact Community Reach and you're able to choose your own hours as well as the amount of commitment you would like to make. We are a nonprofit organization and we would con um, benefit greatly from any donations or contributions to help our, our, our transportation program continue to help people in the area.